Hey, what's up guys? And welcome back to another episode of Chemo Guys Detail Garage. Do you have hazy headlights that's ruining the visibility at night whenever you're driving your car? Well, guess what? Today I'll be showing you guys how fast and simple it is to restore your headlights back to looking brand new. Let's get right into it. Before we get into the headlight restoration, we need to do one crucial step, and that is just to clean up the headlights. Now, I want to clean up the headlights so I can show you guys at home that this headlight is not going to come back, whether you clean it with water, with a quick detail spray. So I have synthetic quick detail spray. I'll go to the surface and I'll spray it. Now, you guys can see liquid does land on it. It's going to obviously clear up a little bit, but as soon as it starts to dry, it goes back to that hazy effect. And I just want to use synthetic quick detail spray just to remove any uh, dirt, grime, or debris that might be sitting on the headlight. But immediately after you start seeing the headlight come back, you guys can see it starts going back to it being hazy. So what do you actually have to do? It's fairly simple. One thing first, what we're gonna do, we'll be putting this applicator off to the side. We'll be getting our pink sanding block. Now this pink sanding block has a hard edge at the back that's going to allow you to get into the nooks and crannies while the front is very foamy-like and it's going to contour to the area you're actually working with. So we're actually going to be wet sanding these headlights. Now these headlights do need wet sanding because they're fairly gone and it's, you're gonna get a better result whenever you do wet sanding. Now on the other hand, if you do have newer headlights that just have a very light film, you could just strictly go into straight uh, headlight restore and like that you restore them. But today we'll be doing two different types of uh, wet sanding methods. One, using 2000 grit and that one's going to be 3000 grit. So for anybody that is new here or is new to wet sanding, the lower the grit sandpaper it is, the heavier it's going to be gritty on the surface. The higher you go, the finer it's gonna get. So we're gonna start off with the much heavier one, which is going to be 2000. All you want to do is peel off the edge on the back, put that off to the side, and then you'll go to your sanding block, you'll lay it down, and then you'll just peel back on the rest. How can you actually wet sand? It's very simple. Get a secondary spray bottle with pure water, go to the area, and all you want to do is mist the surface and you want to keep it highly lubricated. Spray your uh, sandpaper as well. Now go to the area and start sanding it side to side. One thing you never want to do is go in circular motions, always go in linear motions, so that you don't cause any scratches or swirls. Now what the wet sanding method is going to allow us to, to achieve, it's going to remove any dead plastic that's sitting on the headlight. So like this, whenever I go to polish it, there's not going to be any type of contamination and it's actually going to clear up the headlight back to brand new. So I'm just taking my time. And one thing you want to do and keep in mind is keep it highly lubricated. And now that we're wet sanding, one thing I also want to point out the tape. The reason why I put tape on the headlight is because I want to prevent me from scuffing the paint. So just take the extra step and care for you to mask off any painted surfaces so like this you don't accidentally bump into it and cause bigger headaches. Once I already wiped down the headlight, it's going to go back to it being actually dull. And that is because you want a polish to revive the finish of this headlight. So the wet sanding part is just going to allow us to remove dead plastics. The polishing part is going to allow us to revive the headlights. So let me just go side to side with these headlights. And then after that, we will be bumping up to other grit. So give me like two minutes just to go side to side. So now that we're finishing up with the sanding uh, sandpaper, which is a 2000 grit sandpaper, all we need to do is put our sanding block off to the side, get a, get a clean microfiber towel. I'll flip it over to another clean side, remove the tag, if there is a tag on your towel, and then I will wipe the surface clean. Now, just by using the, the 2000 grit sandpaper, you guys do see some type of effect, but it's actually going to be going back to it being hazy. But if I was to touch the surface, it's smooth as glass. Now, well, next up, what we want to do is just refine the finish using the, uh, a lighter grit sandpaper. That's what we're moving on to our next grit sandpaper. So what, all you can do is simply peel this off, or you could also have a secondary uh, sanding block. So like this, you don't waste sandpaper. But in this occasion, it does have adhesive, so I'll put it off to the side, and if I do need to reuse it, I could reuse it. But same exact method, peel off the back, attach it to your sanding block, press down on it so it won't fall off, remove the back, lay it on there, and now we're gonna be doing the same exact step, but now with 3000 grit sandpaper. This is just going to refine the finish, so we'll, we will respray the headlight, 
thoroughly with water. And if you need a lot of water, use a lot of water. It's better to be safe than sorry. So I want to be doing this whole entire procedure once again on this headlight, just to refine the finish. So let me just sand this headlight down. And then next step is going to be polishing it out using a drill, drill attachment and our headlight restorers. Okay, so after giving a couple passes, I'll put my sanding block off to the side or even on the floor. I'll get my clean mic proper towel. I'll wipe it clean. Don't worry about the paint. I'll take, the, I'll take care of the paint after. And now, now that the surface is clean, what I like to do is just touch it, make sure there's no high spots or rough spots. And after there's fully smooth as glass, you already know you're good to go to the next step, which is going to be polishing it. But as you guys can see, it's coming back to it being hazy. And this is when a lot of people start asking us, well, how do you actually bring it out? How do you actually restore it? And that is going to be using Headlight Restore. Now, Headlight Restore is a uh, polish and sealant all in one. It is going to add some type of protection, but I want to enhance even more protection. That's why we'll be applying Jet Seal after this. But before anything, just shake up the product. I will get my drill attachment. Now, this drill attachment, if I was actually to remove it, the bagging plate, it actually has a good screw on it, which is, you could find this on camerawares.com, already attached it to my shaft. A three inch bagging plate with a four inch face. All you need to do is just spin this on. Get your product, shake it up, open up the spout. One, two, three, and four. I will get my synthetic quick detail spray, just so I have some type of lubrication on my pad. Spray one spray onto it, and this is just going to act as a lubrication onto my onto my pad so I can reduce friction. And now I will go to the the headlight i will blotch out the headlight uh restore all over it and then i will start working it in side to side up and down uh look unfortunately for me these headlights are very thin so i'll just be going side to side until it turns clear translucent then i'll buff it off So now we finished polishing out the headlight. You guys can see a crazy before and after. You Before this, it was dull, it was neglected. You can't even see the light bulb, not gonna even see myself, but that's how fast and simple it is to clear up your headlights. I will get my microfiber towel, buff off the residue, remove my polish, and now it's crystal clear. But we do have one last step, which is applying some type of protection, even though Headlight Restore does contain a sealant. I want even more protection. I want 12 months of protection. That's how I'll be applying Jet Seal to it. So shake up the product. Add one, two, three, and two lines of product onto my microfiber applicator. Blotch it out. And then I work it in. And then after I work it in, I'm actually going to let it sit for 15 minutes and then I'll come back and show you guys how easy it is to buff it off. All right, Camelgars family, 15 minutes have passed by and now it's just time to buff off the residue. In the meantime, I did take care of the paint using just one synthetic quick detail spray and a clean microfiber towel just to remove the drip marks. But now I'll just get a microfiber towel just to remove jet seal away from the surface of this headlight. Now Jet Seal is going to provide 12 months of protection and any contamination or UV rays are just simply going to bounce about back off and like this, your headlights stay uh, restored for longer. So now it's just time to remove this tape. Don't judge me on my tape job. It's not perfect. I'm not perfect, but just check that out. Big before and after. Before this TL had no type of love the headlights were dull, and whenever this owner was driving at night, I'm pretty sure they were having trouble. But now we fully restored them, especially because summer's over, it's getting dark faster. Now you need to have vis visibility. So guys, if you guys would like to pick up any of these products in today's video, you guys already know where to find them, chemicalguys.com, or drive down to your local detail garage. As always, I'm Henry, and thank you for sharing your passion for shine with Chemical Guys. We'll see you guys next time.